All right, it's time for the final piece of the cursor path editing puzzle, and that's timeline operations. That's where we get into keyframing. You see, every single point on your canvas here is represented by a keyframe. So if I select this guy and I'm going to double click on him, it will advance me to that keyframe down here on the timeline. So now that we know that we have keyframes, what do keyframes do? Well, you can think of keyframes as guaranteeing that your cursor is going to be in a certain position, an XY coordinate at a given time. So we know down here, I'm going to double click on this, that at this point in time, my cursor is going to be exactly where this point is at on the canvas, right? So that's time. You can adjust the position of keyframes. So I'm going to come to the beginning of this and I'm going to say, hey, I want this actual animation to be a little bit longer, right? So I'll just drag that guy out. And now it's going to take a little bit longer to get there. And maybe, maybe actually it's a little too long. I want to back off and, and bring him back so he gets, gets there a little sooner, right? So, okay. So that's how we adjust the timing, right? Now, there's uh, methods for adding new keyframes, which will add points to the canvas and to the timeline. So let's get into that. You can go ahead and context click on the path segment there, and you can go ahead and say, add a cursor point at playhead. And that gives you a new milestone, a new keyframe that you can now position spatially and guarantee it'll be at that spot, right? So that's how you add it. It's just as simple to delete. You select the keyframe on the timeline, go to your keyboard and tap the delete key and you've just deleted keyframes. So that's adding and deleting keyframes. We've talked about how we can adjust the timing. By the way, you get some special significance on these segments here. These down here on the timeline, we're trying to represent that, hey, this animation, which may have more than one keyframe, um, it has a beginning and end. And, and the first keyframe is a little bit larger and the last keyframe is a little bit larger than what you see over here, which is where we have these in-between keyframes and they're a little bit uh, smaller, right? But they're all part of this, this movement. I start this movement right here. I finish it right here. I pass through these points somewhere along the, top, the line in the animation, right? Now, kind of the cool thing is it's really easy to move these segments around. You can just select the segment itself and drag it around and that, that'll move all the keyframes in time, right? So you can see how you can do that. And there's also a scenario where let's say, you know what, I've come in here and I want to pause right here, right? And, and these pauses are represented by gaps between segments, between keyframes on the timeline. Let's go ahead and context click on that segment. And we're just going to go ahead and split the cursor path at the playhead. And now I have a brand new segment. So if I want to create some, some time, I want to sit here at this position for a while. Well, I need to move uh, this over so that there's more time between that last keyframe and this first keyframe. So now if we, we come through this and we'll just drag through it, boom. You see it sits there for a while. Now we reach that keyframe right there and we'll start moving again, right? So timeline operations are fairly basic, pretty standard what you'd expect with keyframing capabilities. All right, so let's get into one other thing. So in animation circles, you have keyframes, which are those guarantees that we talked about. But then the, the speed at which you move through this and where you're at spatially, well, that's called spacing. And right now I can see on this thing, uh, if I play it back, it looks like I'm slowing down a little bit and I'm not sure exactly what was going on here. Uh, whether we had any easing, easing controls your spacing. Maybe we're starting off. Way to check that is let's select a keyframe. 
and you don't have to move the playhead to that point. You've selected the keyframe. Now you come over to the properties panel and you go into the, the cursor tab here and you can see you have your easing options. So we can see at this point in time, there's no easing applied. So it starts off in a linear movement. And on this keyframe, we actually have an ease in applied. So let's talk a little bit about ease in and the options here. We have ease both, ease in, ease out, ease none, right? So what is ease in? Well, a good rule of thumb is uh, when you're starting off an animation, think of it as you're getting up off the couch. You're moving a little bit more slowly as you get up off the couch until you start to pick up some speed, some momentum. So if we want that to be true, and instead of it just being a steady, consistent linear motion, always moving the same distance for every increment of time, we come in here and we say we want to ease out. We want to ease our way out into the world from that point. So easing out is a reference to the movement from the point you have selected, right? Now, if I want to slow down as I move into position here, well, I want to ease into position, right? And that, that's what I've got applied here. So another way to think about this is ease out, slow out into the world, ease in, slow into position, right? Okay. Inverse is true. If I wanted this to be uh, start off fast, you know, I could apply it and ease into it from that position. You can see how my cursor is jumping around here. That's adjusting the spacing. So I'm going to start out rapidly here and then I'm going to slow down. So the easing functions allow you to get some really cool feel and look. Um, feel is another word that animators like to use uh, and, and control your spacing, right? So that's the deal with timeline operations. There's a lot to it. I encourage you to play around and just and try to get your cursor path animations to feel right, to sing. It's a really cool, fun thing to play around with.